we have seen the hunger of a member with regards to learning learning newer and futuristic things which gave us lot of confidence in ai in icai also the president and vice president were equally amazed and satisfied that people in this large numbers are keen on learning new things friends hackathon was a subject which was a talk of town and many people were confused that what is this hackathon why institute is doing such types of hackathon but today due to hackathon the adoption of ai has gone to a ground level even the smallest cities smallest chartered accountant a proprietor or a small partnership firm are using the use cases given by our hackathonist let's start with sneha agarwal over to you sneha thank you so much icai and all the committee members for giving me the opportunity to present today on the topic of ai use cases in the tax audit as we all know the tax audit is done by a certified chartered accountant and we are supposed to verify all the books of account which are maintained by the taxpayer and we issue a tax audit report in the prescribed format as laid by laid down by icai the tax audit report contains a variety of information that we derive after a long manual uh, series of processes and we also provide a lot of disclosures on the compliances on deviations in our report which has been uh, widely accepted and relied upon by its user as have been emphasized by our pm narendra modi ji as well so a greater responsibility is on our shoulders before signing any report so all these things required a lot of background work some of which is performed by ca themselves and many of the work we delegate to our articles and juniors but their work is also relied upon after some scrutiny but still there is always a scope of some human error so to combat combat that we use our intelligence in some times but uh, all the times but this is the era of technological advancement so the use of machine and software is accepted and is widely required because the simulation of the human intelligence in the machine that is programmed to work and act like us is nothing else than artificial intelligence and this is what we are going to talk about today it is called artificial because this is man made the one intellect that is given to us by god is our own wisdom and the one that has been developed by our, us as per our need is ai so ai has become so vast and it is so uh, it analyzes vast amount of data identify the trends and anomalies and potential risk that the human auditors might miss sometimes so today um i should i show my screen for the ppt ah uh, yes i have prepared a ppt to emphasize on the importance of ai tools that we can use in our tax audit to speed up our work to increase our productivity to work more efficiently and for reducing the uh, cost involved in it as well as the time in all these manual processes so let us have a look at it quickly the future of ai in the tax audit the future is ai so all the uh, all the professionals they make use of the technology in their field so so is what expected from us also so why we should uh, uh, here uh, we are going to discuss about the power of ai in the tax tax audit tax audit is the very basic task that we all do every year in volume and this ai is revolutionizing the tax audit by automating the task identifying the risk and uncovering the patterns that we human that we as human miss sometimes and in this ai the machine learning is playing a vital role the machine learning algorithms they play a crucial role in the modern tax audit thereby enhancing our efficiency accuracy and helping us to assess the risk beforehand so that we can take the corrective measures then it also helps analyzing vast amount of data then 
It also help us to work even faster and more accurately by uh, enabling us to extract the data and analyzing it in a, a way more effective and efficient manner. Like some many of the time there are frauds which are hidden um, in the clients working. And we are not solely responsible for it because if we are not exposed to any of the circumstances that led us to further probe into it, then it remain unidentified. But because of the use of this AI, we can easily identify it and work upon it on time. And then anomaly detection and risk identification. AI not only help in the data extraction, fraud identification, but also it helps us to identify many of times a large amount of suspicious transaction, thereby hinting at hinting us of the areas where we need to provide more focus to identify any of the fraud or tax evasion, whether intentionally or unintentionally by the client themselves. Then there is a risk of tax compliance also. Sometimes uh, while reporting, we uh, need to uh, check the compliances at the various platforms. But with the AI, we can develop a single platform wherein with a single click, we can get the entire detail about the client uh, and identify the deviations and non-compliances wherever they are so that we can fulfill the gap. So all this increases our efficiency in the end. Then it also not just help the client, but it also helps us also in our practice because uh, very initially we have to do the audit selection, like out of all the clients, whether we have to select a particular client for audit or not. So we can uh, develop a model accordingly yeah, you can have a view at the blue screen. See, we can develop this kind of uh, um, uh, we can develop this kind of document wherein we can input the details related to the client, and then the in output will automatically be provided by the use of AI, whether the section forty four AB for the audit is applicable on the client or not. So after that, we can easily identify that out of the forty clients, four are falling within the tax ambit, and we can also prioritize which clients are. Uh, uh, at the utmost risk to be done, uh, like their due dates are falling or their AGM is there. So we have to do their work first and we can then schedule it later for other clients. Then natural language processing for tax form review, not just in the audit. After the audit, a uh, chartered accountant is expected to file the return as well. So in the uh, file, in filling the form, this AI can also be used because it can quickly scan the tax forms. It can identify the inconsistencies, errors, and let us know wherever the errors are. So then we can identify it and get it corrected. Then AI is such that it is so helpful, so user-friendly that it can understand complex as well as the basic language that we provide as input to it. Then robotic process automation for compliance tasks. It not only help us in increasing our efficiency, it reduces errors, and it is also cost saving also. Because for getting a lot of manual processes done, we use, we need a huge workforce with us. And that involves a huge cost. But with the use of AI, all that can be reduced to a significant level that can be channelized to some better areas where we can enhance our productivity. And we can concentrate more on our professional growth. Then AI-assisted tax planning and a strategy. We are not just supposed to do the audit work, but as well as, well as we do the planning for the client, we uh, design the strategies for the client. So for getting all these works done, we can make use of the AI very well. All kinds of tools are available as and when required as per our need. We just need to provide the type of input and we can plan the output according to us. It can give the personalized attention. Last two minutes remaining. Okay. So this is uh, the future of AI. This is not only it entails with its opportunities, but also some of the challenges. So we need to address it, the crucial areas to getting uh, for getting it used in our favor and for leveraging our practice as well. Should I now move further towards the demonstration? So today I'm going to discuss about the use of Copilot in the Excel. We must, we all must ha have heard about ChatGPT as we have seen in the web, today's webinar also. Sir has uh, shown a very good demo. So Copilot is also something 
AI powered digital assistant that can help with a variety of tasks on various platforms. And it works with the Microsoft 365 app, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. So I'm going to use an add-in that Excel provides in the name of Copilot for finance for using it, uh, using it to facilitate any type of reconciliation. We need a lot of reconciliation from the very basic tax audit work, uh, like bank reconciliation. Then for the data management, we need uh, reconciliation. For the party, uh, we need to confirm the balances with the party. Then for the very, very variety of the variance analysis, we need to perform. Then we know at the final stage, we need to do the tedious matching as well of the client with their AIS. Then many a time, a client do a lot of dividend uh, transactions. So a huge amount of thousands of entries reflect in their AIS, which we need to correlate and reconcile with their books of account uh, corresponding to the definite scripts. So for uh, uh, let's get a quick insight of how we can use this tool to get this work done in a blink of eye. So this is an Excel uh, worksheet. Here I have two sheets. I've prepared it beforehand. Uh, the use of Copilot requires the data to be in the Excel table form. This is a prerequisite, so I have saved it. This is the first sheet that has the detail of sale invoices. It is The first column is the invoice ID, then date, then customer ID, and then amount. See, many a time it happens that in respect of a particular invoice, the payments do come in multiple times, like in part, sometimes in advance. So we need the tracking of the same, like whether the... Uh, uh, in respect to particular invoices, the amount may have been received sometimes in excess, sometimes short. So we need to identify out of all the invoices which bills are remaining outstanding and which bills have not been paid at all. We need this thing in our practice as well, and the client also needs this thing. So this is the sale invoice uh, table. We have selected the data by control shift and selecting the page down, and uh, then pressing control T. It has converted the data in table, and this is sheet two, payments received. It has the payment ID in the first column, invoice ID in second column, then payment date, then amount received. Now, to use the utility, I need to, to click on the home tab. Here, there is an option of add-ins. Is it visible to everyone? Yes. On clicking the add-ins, there is an option of Searching the add-ins that I'm looking for. I'm today talking about the co-pilot for finance. See, this is the one. On clicking it, I just need to add it. And then a ribbon gets added automatically on the home tab. Here it is. See, you can check it. So here I need to select the reconcile data. And it is talking about the two worksheets that I have already provided here. The first one is the sale invoice. Sale invoice that has the detail of sales. And the second sheet, sheet two. That is the detail of receipts that has been received corresponding to it. Moving further, I'll click on next. Here I need to define the mapping key. Mapping key is a common column in both the sheets corresponding to which the amount will be reconciled. So, so under the first one, a sheet, sale invoice, I'm selecting invoice ID as my mapping key. And under the receipts, see, this is the invoice ID here. And in the receipts column also, there's invoice ID in column B. So I'm selecting invoice ID also here. All right. And after that, I have to define the monetary column. So under the sales sheet, the monetary column is this. So I'm defining here, selecting amount. And in this receipts sheet, monetary column is this amount. Last 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just after the click of next, the magic is here on the screen. Get ready. I'm clicking next. And within a fraction of seconds, the reconciliation report is here in front of us. This is the sale invoice, sheet one, sheet two. And it is showing full detail of unmatched transactions, invoice ID, the amount in sales invoice, and in sheet two, that is receipts, it's showing the invoice ID and amount, and also showing the differences. So we can very easily identify in a fraction of seconds the differences. This can work in uh, GST as well. And in a variety of areas, we just need to think upon where we can apply it on. So you can just see the utility as well. Like for invoice number 2930, there's nothing in this column. This means 
that amount in respect of these invoices have not been received at all. Uh, do you wish to check it? Invoice ID? I said 29 and uh, 30. See, it's not 29. 29 Attention, is not. Time's up. Time's up. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope this you find this useful. Yeah. So, Sneha, uh, it was a wonderful use case that you presented and you have used the co-pilot and in that co-pilot, you have used a specific add-on that is co-pilot for the finance. So, thank you for showing the co-pilot finance add-on, which is specifically made for financial professionals by the Microsoft. You have to get the license version of Microsoft Office 365. Along with that, you have to get Copilot license version also if you want to use Copilot incomplete. But as an add on, you can get a preview version of Copilot Finance and you can do reconciliations. Sneha has given a one single use case of the sales and receipts. By that way, in tax audit, you can use it for the tedious reconciliations. You can do it for your GST expenses. Uh, calculations in clause 44 and n number of things. So Sneha, thank you. Please relax. Keep smiling. In technology, things get upset, but we should not get upset. We have to learn a lot from technological ups and downs. And uh, many big companies have fallen and risen again. So keep it up.